Kensington World of Adventures. So we're checking out their World of Fest summer festival event. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else, other words to put to that. Um, but yeah, so it's been a couple of months since we've been back. The event did start. Oh gosh. I'll give a bit more detail later because I don't have it to hand, but it did start around July, so we're already quite a few weeks in, and I believe it's until around the end of August. Yeah. But we're here to check out some of the entertainment, and one thing I will say, which is really cool, so is the queues aren't as bad now because restrictions are a bit lighter. You're not, they're still bad circuits, but no temperature checks or nothing like that, so the queue runs a lot smoother. But there's an annual pass holder entrance now. We spotted it. We're like, can we go in there? Yeah. You can. Um, so that, that just saved going in the windy queue, but... I think that's quite good though. I think they should do that with more of their parks. Is, uh, yeah. So I know other parks around sort of the globe, they offer a annual pass uh, entrance separate to the general public. Yeah. Sort of a, a more of a perk, isn't it? So I mean, it. I guess if any, if any sort of um, avid Merlin goers are watching this, they're probably saying there are, they do exist. And we've only just noticed it. Yeah. But nonetheless it was very handy but i think with that we're going to head in you can hear the music in the background already so it's going to be very loud very lively but come with us let's let's have some i guess it feels like festivaly doesn't it like yeah, i don't yeah, know how else best to describe it but yeah let's see what acts there are we're going to look at some animals feed some birds hopefully we might try and do a few rides but i think it's going to be a busy day so maybe rides will be on the back burner yeah but let's see what they've got today here at clessington We're doing two things well i guess we've done one thing we're doing our second thing and by second thing i mean we're hiding from the rain yeah it's <laughs> as you can see it's raining but it's like that weird fine drizzle so it's not cold um but there was no forecast for rain today so once again we are utterly unprepared um but would you expect anything less really well, exactly <laughs> we plan for the best weather not the worst yeah um, but um, which is annoying because it was cloudy yesterday we went out we went out with no sun cream so I'm a bit sunburnt and then it's like because the sun just came out for the whole day pretty much and it actually got quite warm so we thought oh, today it'll probably happen today as well then but no it's done the exact opposite the exact opposite which is not nice because we're wearing shorts yeah oh, no, I'm not like I'm not cold though no. it's not hot it's just very uh difficult to walk around yeah and a lot of the entertainment was outside so i mean we will brave the weather we're not gonna stand under this little cubby hole all day yeah. but we thought we'd just drop in we've just done our first ride we've been on the tomb blaster i mean it would be rude not to come here and not go on it especially with only a 20 minute rate wait um i won nearly <laughs> <laughs> wait you got close she was pulling her head and then I, just i stole it at the last minute i know the look of panic on richard's face when he realized <laughs> that i was beating him so he obviously didn't let that fly no no so what's the uh, scores now for the season I, i've lost count so i think uh it was uh three to one wasn't it four to one so now it's four to one the season isn't over ha huh. But what, what you guys don't know is that we did go to Legoland yesterday and I, oh no, I didn't win on that one. No, you didn't. We, we'll ignore that, but I did win on Ninjago. <laughs> we didn't film yesterday because it was just a family day, but um, let's pretend I never said any of that because <laughs> I didn't win that one either. Yeah, we'll stick it to official 4-1. 4-1. <laughs> one. I'm, I'm going to pull through. I, I promise you I will at least get to best three out of like seven I don't know <laughs> well, we have got plenty of more uh, theme park trips yeah. so you have every chance to pull forward yes but for now well done pat, pat on the back pat, pat. bravo <laughs> uh, we're gonna brave the rain the rain <laughs> the rain um, uh, we're, we're gonna put the camera away though because our it. little furry microphone will not not enjoy the rain no <laughs> but yeah we'll That's leave it at that yeah. and We'll catch in when it's we'll catch up when it stops raining. Yeah, hopefully it stops raining pretty soon. Yeah, but in the meantime, at least let's try and see some animals, eh? So where 
then I say your team's name. I want you to stamp your feet and wave your hands as loud as you can. Are we ready? Yes, let's hear it for Team Zebra. And what about Team Cheetah? Yay! And let's hear it for Team Zebra again. Yay! And Team Cheetah. where you had to pick a headlining act so we had Led Zebra, Lady Ra Ra and DJ Sharky. Who was your favourite? Sharky. Naturally. I like Led Zebra. I feel like they have multiple shows throughout the day so I feel like there's going to be a winner of, in each different show. I think so yeah. But um, And they also sing individually um, like so Lady Ra Ra and Led Zebra. I was going to say Zebra then. Um, they have their, I was looking on the app, they have their own sort of solo performances as well, as well as part of that show throughout the day. Yeah. What did you think of the show overall? 
Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Like, yeah. Obviously, it's kid orientated, but I thought it was not a bad show. Really. It's just like beat, and it's good fun, yeah. isn't it? And the the girls were really good singing girls. The ladies were really good singers. So. Yeah. Um, it's just, just nice to sit down and watch a bit of entertainment. I feel like in the couple of years that we've had our annual parties, that's when we started, we've been to these theme parks in the past, you know, as children and growing up, but we've only been pass holders since about February 2019. Yeah. And I think in the time that we've been coming, yes, I know, we've had the, the panorama. The in panorama. The, <laughs> the pandemonium in the meantime but I think they've really upped their entertainment like even from memory so. from 2019 BC before Covid <laughs> <laughs> I have changed the acronyms I'm sorry um, it, I don't know I just feel like they're up in their games a bit and maybe the Merlin are looking at competitors and looking at the sort of it's not just about the rides it's about the whole theme park experience so like to, to us it's the food it's the entertainment it's like that return factor yeah we do love thrill rides and we do love the rides of course but it's it's about being able to spend a day here i think and enjoying the entertainment and just the the general atmosphere yeah no, i agree i think they have come further over the last few yeah, years definitely. with the uh, additional uh, events that they're doing yeah. so i but think it, i think it's good good way of going forward really yeah it's really cool so we're going to go and look for some more entertainment now before we stop for lunch Sometimes I feel like I live in Quentin Station Tonight I'm not taking no call cause I'll be dancing Cause I'll be dancing Not if I get it more I lift my head and my heart on the dance floor Oh, sisters, we drink wine with diamonds in the 
I even because even though I work on here, yeah. I'm, if I go to the zoo, I don't have to go to. Oh, I'm hundred percent. And when I found out you can start petting them again, I was like, yes. <laughs> so this is Skyler. Oh. Um, so she's oh. about eleven months now. Oh, about that. So she'll get to about this high. Yeah. So the angler is so tall. Um, so unfortunately, we can't keep these guys. Oh, um, can so you not? Got for the season. Just because we get a lot of toddlers in here, yeah. um, and uh, they'll be huge, um, so it's just a bit too much. Okay, it's our first go in 2021! <laughs> oh, music. That was such a nice experience. We just went in the Yuzu, I forget the name, Yuzu, and um, one of the staff members, her name was Daisy, and she was so nice. I think you could tell, like, obviously there's kids in there and you could tell I really wanted to pet the goat. So I think she brought out some treats and that. And then we just got it clattered about the goats and I know Ricky filmed some of it, so yeah. that's going to be in here anyway. But um, she was she was so lovely and then we were clattered about lounge fly bags. So I guess if you ever come across this video, you were really cool and it was really nice to meet you. And it just made my day that I got the opportunity to stroke the goat because the goat was wandering around and so... It was quite, um, it wasn't that busy, but the goat was sort of in the enclosure and she sort of goaded it back out. I think it was pretty obvious by my <laughs> derpy expression. <laughs> yeah. But it was, I don't know, like I know you were just sort of filming it and Rick is not a big petter in the, in the zoo bits, in the farmy bits, but. I experienced it through you. <laughs> I, I, I just love it and um, just talking of mutual love of goats. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it's the little things like that that make these experiences so fun. And, um, it doesn't always happen often. It was just really nice. I, was, I don't have much to say about it. It's just such a, she was a really nice lady and it was just such a pleasure to, to chat to someone who works here for a little bit. Yeah, um, so yeah, I got to pet a goat. <laughs> and her name was Skylar, wasn't it, the goat? Yeah. But um, I was thinking, because I know Merlin, I'm sure they did a program where you can send feedback and that, so we're definitely going to look to do that. Um, at, like when we get home or looking so I can't remember the name of the program whether it still exists something like sending a star or, smart or something like yeah, that yeah but sort of just to recognize that like, sort of good service yeah, like and I don't know you can you only know, just can tell people enjoy their jobs as well and, yeah like, it's just I love interactions like that so that's just honestly made my day <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go and check out some raccoons and skunks as I believe there's a talk in a minute so we're gonna try and do that and then I think I've made Ricky wait long enough and then I think we're going to get some food. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm wasting away. I'm, oh, no. uh, I'm barely here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Let's go see some raccoons. Let's see some raccoons. Now we're going to start with the skunks, then we're going to move on to the raccoons and then at the end we're going to talk about the conservation for both species. So first of all we'll tell you a bit about our lovely skunks here. Now as you can see we have a group of four and this is actually a family group. So we have mum, dad and their offspring. Now Flash is the one just at the front here, he is Dad. Then you have Storm who has the pinkest nose, he's just here. Then you have Breeze and Monsoon. So they live together and in the wild they would live much the same. So monogamous pair and then little family groups of mums, sons, mothers. Now eventually they would go off and they would form their own pairs and then the cycle would start again. Now quiet wise I'm thinking them bugs but they are omnivorous which means they'll eat both animal and plant matter. In terms of plants, they'll eat berries, they'll eat shoots and bulbs, anything like that. And in terms of their animal matter, they'll eat things like insects, they'll eat rodents, small birds, eggs, and pretty much anything that they can get their paws on. Talk about their smell. Now they do have the capability to spray, but they very, very rarely do. It is a defense mechanism that they use when they feel that their life is in danger. Our skunks have never sprayed, and so far to that we have a good spray like any one of these guys here. Now, in the world, obviously they are capable of doing that, some of these guys, but again, they're only going to do it if they're sort of cornered when it's not like there's no way out, and they will warn you before they spray you. Guys, where's it? Ollie, say my name's Gavin, and these are the raccoons. Now, you might be wondering why am I stood up on here posing, showing off, but if you've been here for a few minutes, you would have noticed these raccoons can be a little bit aggressive with each other, especially when food is out and about. So I particularly quite like my ankles and kneecaps, but I don't want to get bitten today, hence why I'm up here. Now, raccoons are very common animals in America. If anyone's been to America, you can see them pretty much everywhere. They're like America's squirrels. Ah. 
Now we've got six raccoons in our collection here at the park, and they're all females. And the reason we haven't got any males are because they don't particularly need to be conserved. There are many hundreds of thousands of raccoons in the wild, and they certainly do not need our help to survive. But also on top of that, if we put a male in here with these six females, then the aggression just goes through the roof. Because not only are they competing for food, all of a sudden all these girls are also competing for that one lonely man. And they are in fact pretty at home in people's houses and urban environments, so as I said earlier, they are quite happy going through bins and stealing stuff from human beings. Now there are several different kinds of raccoons in the wild, and these are the common raccoon. They are said are the most widely found. They come from North America, most commonly found in the USA, although they have been seen in Mexico and also in Canada as well. They are incredibly adaptable and they can live pretty much anywhere. I'm about to tie my hair up, it's a bit warm, but we watched some men's more entertainment and we had lunch at the pizza pasta not buffet it was it used to be a buffet yeah i was a little bit disappointed Pre -COVID. That. yeah i think because um from reading online i think i saw legoland and Alton towers they've bought back their buffet but yeah Pleasanton hasn't yet so if you buy a meal deal i suppose it's called it's 14.95 an adult and you get um, pasta, so it's either bolognese or it's like tomato and basil with mushrooms and stuff. And then uh, pepperoni, I think it was Hawaiian vegetable pizza and a margarita and a garlic bread. Yeah. And a refillable drink for, yeah, so 14 95 The garlic bread is unlimited and the refillable drink is too, but you have to order through the app. So then we <laughs> we really like the garlic bread, didn't yeah. we? Um, so we wanted some more, because uh, we only got given like one to share between us, which is fine, like, I get it, because they don't want to waste food. Yeah, yeah. But um, it was hard to sort of pin someone down. Uh, I, I felt like we were being a bit inconvenienced <laughs> asking for our drinks to be refilled and for more garlic bread. Yeah. You know, we're, we're a couple of fatties, we want more <laughs> garlic bread, it was nice. Well, I think that's the only downside, obviously. I don't understand yeah. why, but it's just, you can't go up and do it yourself. Um, Otherwise, we just go up and it's less awkwardness for us, at least. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was all right. We got um, our pass holder discounts, so it only came to about 23 or quid. So, considering you were a bit dubious that it wasn't a buffet, like I yeah. still think like I'm full. Oh um, yeah, we, we definitely got our money's yeah. worth. It's just when you think you could pay the same amount for a buffet um, beforehand. And yeah, then, uh, but then I guess you know we are still in a in a. Panasonic, so <laughs> you call it something different every time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I guess, like you know, buffets. I maybe pump some people. We, this is a family place, so yeah. maybe some people feel a bit uncomfortable yeah. about it. No, I get it. I mean, I still think it was worth the money. While well, the other one is sitting nice and comfortably around my neck, but Kyra, instead of even walking around, with one of our lovely little owls. So that owl's name is Peace. And stick your hands up. Does anyone think it's a fully growing owl? Does anyone think it's an adult owl? No, no, I don't think it's a baby owl. Yep. And who's completely ignoring me? Stick your hands up. There you go. Fair enough. At least some people are honest. Well, if you had your hands up with an adult owl, you would be absolutely right. This owl is fully grown. It does not get any bigger than that. And that is part of the reason why we bring her out and about, to show you that the animal, or the owl animal kingdom, is such a varied group of creatures. Well, first things first, when is peace normally awake? Can you want to shout that one out? Nighttime. Nighttime, yeah, we get one interaction, the rest are sitting there awkwardly quiet. <laughs> but we got that little owl, we're normally told that owls are awake during the night, which is true some of the time, but it's not necessarily true the whole time around. So, can anyone see her eyes? What colour are her eyes? Anyone notice that? Yellow, absolutely right, they are yellow, and the sun is yellow. So if you ever see an owl with yellow eyes, like the sun is up during the day, that owl is also up during the day. So owls with yellow eyes are daytime creatures. So she is one of the daytime owls. If she was to have orange eyes, then she would be an owl which is awake during dawn or dusk time, much like the uh, sky is during that time. And if she was to have dark brown eyes, then she would be your nighttime species of owl. So one more thing we're always told about owls is the noises they make. Where whenever I'm working around an owl enclosure, I always hear the same noise coming at me, and that is twit twit. That is something we are always told when it comes to owls. I'm sure you may have heard some things on Room and the Brooms about owls going twit twit. It's not true, unfortunately. So there is not one single owl which sits there all by its lonesome going both twit and twit one after the other. It doesn't happen. So you may have heard that sound. It's the sound of our native tawny owl. 
But if you ever hear Twit and Twoo together, you're listening to two owls, not one. But she is still a predator. She is small, but she is still a killer. She eats small little mice. She may be even with a small rat, something about that size. If she has a chance to eat some bugs as well, she will eat bugs too, but most of her diet is small mammals. Which is quite surprising because she is still tiny. She is fully grown, as I said, but she can still eat something about half the size of her body. And that's all thanks to her amazing feet. So her feet are ridiculously strong, which is why uh, Kyra is wearing that glove. Because if you were to just have that little owl sitting on your bare skin, you'll end up with little cuts and scrapes all over you because she has very strong feet and very, very sharp claws or talons. We'll move on to the second animal, which is wrapped around my neck. And straight away, hopefully I've just dealt some myths for you because you can see I'm still talking. I'm still alive, even with this creature wrapped around my neck. They are an amazing group of animals, and unfortunately they are very, very misunderstood. Now, I've worked around in quite a few reptile houses before, and we have snakes in there, nice big tanks with big old glass windows, and I see people squeal and run halfway down the corridor because there's a snake behind a piece of glass. I land later on, along my day, walk around the lion enclosure, see that same person staring at a, lion, a big old lion the other side of a piece of glass, and they're absolutely calm as anything. So explain that. I've got no idea why, so I'd much rather meet this little snake in a dark alley than meet a lion. So they have a big old heart, so their heart is about halfway down their body, and if you get them in the right spot, you'll be able to see that little heart beating as well. They have a lung, which stretches the entire first half of their body, and then the back half of their body is pretty much all stomach and intestines and things like that. So all the same things that we have, the only bit of her that is tail is where my finger and thumb is to the very end. When it comes to finding their food, they have two special adaptations. The first one is nice and obvious, it's that big old flickering tongue. So their tongue is always flicking out and about, and it's not just them being rude and sticking their tongue out at you. What they're doing is they're always smelling, so that tongue is used instead of their nose. They essentially taste the air and they can smell the air with that amazingly sensitive tongue. And they're so sensitive they can tell what's nearby, where it is, where it's going, and they can hunt just by following the smell trails with that amazing flicking tongue of theirs. Told me to move it back. Tells me off. There we go. Oh, oh, all right, fine. Don't get angry at me. You make me worse for it. They're so pretty. It's that time. It's four o'clock, so I think we've had enough for today. So we're going to head out to Crescenton. But I've had a very nice day, haven't you? Yeah, I have too. I mean, the main reason we came is to check out the festival stuff. So we do actually do a new yeah. rides. So, Ooh, the queues were really long. <laughs> yeah, it was too long to wait, and the main reason was here was for the festival, so we would have missed a lot of it. So. Yeah, and the weather stayed quite nice. Like it's not too hot, um, despite the queues all this morning as well. It's quite nice, and like Rick said, usually we try and squeeze in at least Tiger Rock, but yeah. the, as we we're walking out, the queue is still 75 minutes. We don't get me wrong, like it's it's about average for the summer holidays. Some queues, I think Dragon's Fury got to 120 minutes, so it's not abnormal. But I think. Pass holders makes us, being pass holders makes us lazy, so we can yeah. just come back and say we'll do it another time. Exactly. But I really enjoyed the entertainment, and I think my favourite was Hissy Elliot and the Laurie Keats. <laughs> they were really good yeah, singers. Yeah, I think they were really good singers. And it was just nice, and I think we caught most of the live acts. So I think there were a few more animal feeds. I think there might have been a monkey one. I think there were a few more yeah. animal talks, but I think they're permanent features. So I know like they do do animal talks throughout the zoo, so hopefully there's something we can catch next time we come but yeah. it's just been um, a nice afternoon checking it out and we weren't really adventurous in terms of food we didn't try any of the street food but it looked pretty average like kind of samey to what we've seen at similar events before although yeah. you looked a little bit heartbroken when you realized it was curly fries and curry sauce exactly that's like the best combination <laughs> he was like ellie go, go walk over there go go and sniff it go and sniff the chips uh, it just felt good but yeah it was a really nice afternoon and you know what as we was watching the performances i thought it's so nice to see these people out doing what they love like in terms of live performing and um, I don't know how I get performance I suppose like yeah. the, the performers at these theme parks hire and you think with Covid and that they've not had an opportunity to do anything like this in quite some time um, no. so it's nice to start seeing things like that again and it's probably good for them as well they're in work and they, they seem to be enjoying themselves and we enjoy watching them. No, I agree. 
but we're gonna drive home because it is a Sunday afternoon so we do have work tomorrow yeah. so I think I'm gonna have a nice bath and rest my weary legs from the last two days yeah and we'll see you again soon see you again soon see you later Bye.